What's up guys, GT Game here and welcome back to OCRP, Oversized Cucumbers Ruin Prostates. That's not at all what it stands for, but okay, I will go with that. Uh, we had our car taken off us, we're a very bad person and, I don't know, just mum didn't want us having the car anymore, so she, um, she's she gone out of town, she's hidden the keys, so I was like, eh, hey, fuck you mum, I'm taking the minivan. So we took the minivan. That's <laughs> pretty much the most simple story ever, I should write a book. And our objective today, basically we're going to drive like a teenager and we are going to see how many tickets we can get in mum's minivan before they decide to take it. I know, mum's going to be angry at this one, but I, don't know, I think it'll be fun. So we got our white minivan, we got our character, Huge Anus. And we are basically going to drive like a teenager. Nothing too extreme. I don't want them to straight up take the car. Like, no 100 miles an hour in a 30, but... Well, I doubt this thing would hit 100 miles an hour, but... We're still going to drive pretty recklessly. So you guys might be wondering why I seem to switch back and forth between Civ and Police. Uh, not so often. Let me explain something. There's two reasons why I'll do, like... Three save episodes, two cops, three save, three cops. It's because, well, there's two reasons, as I said. Firstly, I generally record them in one, so I'll do a day as like a cop and record what happens, and then I'll do a like a day of civ civilian and record what happens. And then the other reason is because this server, OCRP, it's um, it's split pretty evenly. There's about equal amount of cops and sieves and if I jump on one day and there's like three cops and twelve sieves I'll be a cop to even out the numbers and vice versa if there's like tw what the physics can you get off my van thank you and if there's like twelve sieves and th uh, uh, twelve cops and two sieves I'll be a sieve uh, like today there's like a million cops and there's like four sieves so I thought, eh, I'll be a sieve. And now I need to go and get Mum's minivan repaired. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm a jackass. Okay, so we had our van fixed at the uh, Los Santos Customs. And this is registered to Mrs. Joanna Janus. Or as I like to call her, JJ. Or Mum, either one. And we... I haven't actually seen any cops. Which is what I saw one down in the city earlier when I was getting ready. But other than that, no, I haven't seen nothing. Right, let's drive like a jackass. Oh, we got a cop. Let's see if they... F yep, they flipped. They flipped on us. Right, we need to pull over and get gas. Control Z to turn off the engine. And... Ah, this is not an active gas station. That's good. That's not great, actually probably should have parked on the other side of the pumps, but meh, we'll make do. Okay, as our bullshit story, because we don't want to admit that mum took our car, the head gasket blew, so we borrowed mum's car. That's, that's the uh, bullshit story. Let's see if he falls for it. How you doing today, sir? I'm good, man. What about you? Pretty good. Got you going 64 and a 45 here. Can I get your ID, proof of insurance, registration? Oh shoot, man! I didn't realise I was going that quick. Yeah, sure. Let me just find it. Uh, here you go. My name is Hugh Janus. This is my uh, mother's car. All right, sir. Uh, bear with me while I run your information. Thank you. No worries. I'm being as polite as possible. I don't want a car taken, I just want some tickets. Let's see how well he does. I told him it's Mum's car, so he's not going to raise any eyebrows that um, I'm driving it. It's, it's Mum's car. I will also settle for a verbal warning. So it's going to be tickets or verbal ones, anything along those lines, even if it's a written warning, as long as the car don't get taken. We're going to see how many we can get got a feeling this is going to be number one here. Ooh. Can't actually see much. I think he's running my plate. My plate should come back all good. 
All right, Mr. Janus, uh, you were going 14 over. Um, I can't let that go, but I did knock it down to uh, just uh, nine miles an hour over. It's a $1,400 ticket. But it leads you to sign here. $1,400? It's just saying you're going to take care of the ticket uh, for appear in court on the set date. Okay, man, I appreciate that. That's a little steep, though, don't you think? $1,400? Yeah, um, that's just what the guidelines are saying. Um, that's why I did knock it down. That's the cheapest ticket I can give you. Um, anything else would have been in the two to four thousand dollar range. Okay, man. I appreciate it. Here you go. Appreciate it, man. Here's your copy. Uh, you're free to go as soon as I get back in my vehicle. I hope you have a better day. Okay, thanks, officer. Have a nice day too. Ah, uh, no problem. Thank you. Damn, man. Fourteen hundred dollars. Well, I suppose it is GTA money. I could pay that. Right. Uh, how do I turn my car back on? I believe it's Control Z. If not, I got a problem. Uh, I've got a problem. Uh. Uh. Okay. I'll try. <laughs> I haven't run into this one before, but then I don't turn my engine off normally. Ah, there you go. Make sure it's clear and drive like a teenager. Right, on to our next ticket. We're at one so far. I'm also trying to take note of how many, like, what cars have pulled us over. Because I don't want to get stopped by the same cop more than, like, preferably once, maybe twice. Ooh, try not to run the hillbilly over. What was that on the floor then? God knows. But anyway, I, I definitely don't want to be pulled over... Buy the same cop a hundred times, it's not a good thing. Because it'll get to the point where he loses his rag, but other cops might be like, oh, I haven't spoken to him before, I'll give him a warning. So that's the hope, but let's see how it goes. So fun fact, I was driving on the wrong side of the road today. I've played this game so much, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've played this game so much that I was at the uh, supermarket this morning and I just got up, I was on my way to work, pretty tired and I pulled out of the car park and I started driving on the wrong side of the road only at like 5 miles an hour I was in the car park but still got some pretty odd looks off the guy that was coming towards me it took me about 10 seconds to realise which was... I found it funny, the other guy didn't but you know, what is going on here? Okay. How would a teenager deal with this? I should know I am a teenager. Um, okay, we're doing some dodgy stuff then. Off-road in mum's minivan. Ooh, that was expensive. On the suspension. Bye. Anyone gonna do anything about that? Nope. Ooh, that's a... Uh... Okay. Let's, let's toy with them a little bit. Do a nice little handbrake. Uh, car like mummy's car. There is an identical minivan right there. What happened to that digger? Am I seeing things right now? Yeah, I think I got away with that. Yeah, pretty sure I did. I don't see anyone coming. That's a nice big ass red truck. Right, driving like a teenager. Overtake this dude. I actually bought a new car this week on um, Saturday and it's a nice little uh, Chevy, a uh, Chevy Carlos, but don't Google it. It's a good car, it's like a muscle car, honestly. Just promise you won't Google it. But yeah, it's a pretty good car. The only issue with it is the brakes don't work. Like, literally, the brakes don't work. I was, well, it happened quite a lot now, but first time it happened, I was driving along doing like 70 and I put my foot on the brake pedal and the pedal just shook which was odd and the car barely slowed down and it scared the crap out of me and I thought it was a one-off thing so I thought ah I'll go up the uh, I live near a mountain I'll go up the mountain to a lovely view spot I know with my mate got all the way up coming back down and no brakes through a country lane like that was bad I had to slow down using the gears and what little brake I had and I could barely stop, well I couldn't stop without pulling the handbrake, which I didn't fancy doing on a country lane, you know, might die, that kind of stuff, like I just disappeared then in the distance. But yeah, so my car's fucked, that's always good. 
Other than that, it's a good car. It's got all rain electric windows, which for me is very modern. It has buttons on the steering wheel, which I really like, and change the radio. And all of that for 400 pounds, which I'm pre I'm pretty proud of it. It's a 1.4 liter. Um, pretty powerful considering my insurance. Um, I went to get insured on a 1.2 litre Ford Fiesta. I thought, eh, it shouldn't be that bad. I've been insured with this company before. I'm 20. I was insured for less than a month, but don't let that put you off. So I rang them up. I said, how much will my insurance be on this car? They said, ooh, let's, let's type some stuff in. She typed some magical stuff into a magic computer. Uh, £6,000. So expensive, they would not insure me. <laughs> I was like, uh, you sure about that? My first insurance was 2000 on a more powerful car. I was like, I'm sure. I said, why is it so much more expensive? So she looked through my details. It turns out I typed my driving license in wrong in the first one, so according to the computer, I've been driving for 12 years. So yeah, that was a fun one to explain. Now I will never ever get insurance through that company ever again. That car was going quite fast down Alhambra then. Let's do some handbrake turns. <laughs> I was expecting it to wheel spin then, but then I remembered it's a minivan. But yeah, it is totally ridiculous how much insurance costs. My car, basically a granny mobile, I was totally kidding about the muscle car thing. £3,500 to insure it for the year. Uh, yeah, uh, I could have got it for £1,500, but with a black box that monitors everything I do, and I do drive like a teenager sometimes, so... Didn't really want that, so it's worth paying the extra just so if I do crash, I will actually get insured again. Because if I hit a tree or something, it's cheaper just to write the car off myself and say it broke down. Because if the insurance company found out I had a crash, my insurance is gone for 10 years. So I'd, I'd much rather, if I do hit that theoretical tree, just be like, oopsie, and call a tow truck. That's pretty much how I roll. How much we, we got six grand, it's not worth putting in the bank. Where are some cops? I want to do some teenager stuff, like this. Check in! Check, 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 check in! Ha! Bitch. I won. Really? Did that not attract anyone's attention? Seriously? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. God damn it, this thing's slow. This will attract their attention. I'm gonna do the same thing but through a stop sign. See if that attracts their attention. And I want to go left here. Nope. Not. No one. I'm just going to keep doing this. Someone's eventually going to get me. And now for the fourth time. Fuck it, I'm cutting around here. Oh, that's a rock. Ugh, don't hit that. That was a sign. I'm fine. Oh, he saw that. He saw that. Okay, this time I'm just going to bullshit him. I'm going to bullshit him. This is kind of not fair, but I'm going to bullshit him. Hands up. Hands up. Turn around. What the hands. fuck? Turn oh. around. What the fuck, man? What'd I do? This. You hit an officer, and then you hit my car twice. Uh, not on my screen. Oh yeah. Okay. I got him. Uh, can you call him uh, dispatch? I. I... <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Well, the ticket counts at one, and I've got a feeling it's going to stay that way. I did not hit a cop. That is. Bullshit. Well, they're taking Mum's car. <laughs> I can see the scratch on his car. I didn't hit him on my screen. Uh, well, i got to go with it. i got to bullshit my way out of this somehow. I'm seriously in trouble. I'm going to play innocent. Kind of like. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, since uh, that's he, uh, why, uh, I'm getting the highway to come out here. He's gonna do a 1014 report on it. I've no idea what a 1014 report is. I'm sure my subtitles will help me out. Oh yeah, I remember. But yeah, I, I, right. I'm gonna be sincere. I didn't mean to, man. Mr. Janus, 
Yeah. Oh, hang on. So you're telling me that you didn't know that you flew past us three times and hit my car twice? I mean, maybe. I didn't mean to, man. I promise. Why? Uh, why would you do that? Because I'm a teenager, man. I can't drive my car, so I borrowed mum's. What? So how old are you? I can't remember off of the last traffic stop I gave you. How old you are? I'm 19, man. I need to change that. I don't know how old I am. Are you got anything on you? Step out the car. Or I don't have to get you out myself. I need to. I really need to update that. Uh, date of birth. Date of birth. Date. That's the. God damn you it. You got anything on you that I should be worried about? No. Uh, yeah. Okay, you don't. You got a baseball bat. You got a pistol. And you got a ball? What's this ball? Uh, that is when I was born. The baseball or something? Yeah, I hit a few rounds with my friends. I'm not gonna take that off you. So, oh. you, you obviously can't have a pistol. Uh... Yeah, I didn't come up with anything inside the van there. Alright, he had a pistol and a baseball bat on. May have forgotten He's about 19, that. I'm pretty sure you can't have a pistol. User joined your channel. It's my dad's man, it was in the glove box. <laughs> Drop yeah, dad well, in it. Doesn't mean you can have it. Alright, oh, so was... far, sir, you're under arrest for hit and run two times. Um <laughs> battery on a peace officer and uh under, uh, we're gonna have to figure out something with this firearm, uh, possession of a firearm. Um, yeah, you can't be in possession of that. Yeah. You gotta be 21 to have a pistol. Well, I'm going to jail. Oh, come on, man. I didn't mean to. You didn't mean to. You ripped by three times. You meant to do something. You got our attention. I was just testing it, man. My car would have taken that corner easy. Oh, uh, yeah, it's gotta work through this muddled, uh, Penal code we have to figure out his charges. Ugh. At this point, yeah, that's it. Yeah, he's got a few of them coming. That's for sure. Yeah, oh yeah, all right, that's I appreciate pretty you, much a given. Right, I'm too, going down. Oof. I don't think I'm getting out of this. Um. Okay, I've got one last attempt up my sleeve, which is gonna backfire. Hob. English. It's gonna backfire horribly, but it's worth a try. Uh, how much? This is a serious thing, so I need to get out of this. Well, oh, man, you got some pretty Hang heavy on. charges coming. Let me way. check if there's anyone behind me. I didn't mean to, officer. I promise. No, there's no one behind me. This is perfect. I'm sure you watch TV. Does that ever work on TV? When they say they didn't mean to, or they're sorry. Maybe uh, if I you drop me off money. here, no. there's no one behind us. They won't know. No. Just, just, just say I ran. I can't get. And I, unlucky for you, my uh, my inventory's broken, so I can't give you that money back. Just, just drop me so. off here, man. I'll take Mum's mini minivan back. And I'll repair it, and no one will ever know what happened. Listen, listen you, you say it again, I'm gonna hit you with trying to bribe a uh, peace officer, so you don't want another charge. What if I give you the puppy dog eyes? Gives puppy dog eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's not working, man. Starts crying. Quit your crying, man. You knew what you were doing. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, you'll learn in jail. Well, I don't want to go to I think jail. You've been arrested before. No. No. Okay. Pretty I sure I have, but I just reused the name. So, shh, twenty-two. Of that. <laughs> this is going to be a hard one to explain. Good news is. I did get a ticket, so my count's at one. Pretty sure I could beat that. Yeah. 
Well, here we are, home sweet home, for the next god knows how many years. All right, so it'll take me a few minutes to get all these charges sorted out. If you want to have a seat, slash me <laughs> lights joint. No, no, no. Lights last joint before jail. Yep, I want that, and then text chat. Slash me weed. Oh, <laughs> slash emote weed. No, no, god damn it. Emote weed. <laughs> so I'm just enjoying my uh, my last joint before I go into the joint. If you uh, get what I'm saying, I wonder if you'll actually charge me with this. I am currently smoking a joint inside of a police station so uh, yeah this will go down well I can't wait to see his reaction god damn it camera and let's pop you like that those are the biggest pockets I've seen in my life on this guy's shirt like legit look how huge they are they go from his nipples to his belly button like you could put some sticks of dynamite in there, you could carry a pound of weed. Like, damn. Alright, enjoying your uh, cigarette there, marijuana? Well, I figured since I'm going in the joint, I might as well have one. Sure. Oh. Alright, so here are your charges. Sir, how can I help you? Hmm. This is unusual. Can I help you? Hmm. Yeah, I'm uh, going on duty. Oh, okay, just making sure. All right, so here am I? <laughs> you got two hit and run. You got reckless driving, battery on a peace officer, and illegal possession of a firearm. Your total charges come to. Uh, this should be good. <laughs> $19,620. Damn! Girl. Oh, wow, yep. we both said that at the same so, time, then. And you're going to be imprisoned for... Oh, I mean, going to jail as well. So I'm paying 20 three grand. years. And going to jail for three years. <laughs> Do you really have to get changed right here? Thanks oh, and punched him in the face. This is actually really cool, it gives me an option. That's only 180 seconds. Yeah, yeah, that's three years though, isn't it? A uh, cool feature, if you're in jail, you can't just walk out the door. It's not locked, I promise. This happens. Yeah. It gets very annoying after 10 minutes. Like, legit. People have been locked up in here for, um... Oh, that was weird. People have been locked up in here for, like, 20 minutes. Real time. And all they can do is that. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. And teleports me back. And magic. And magic. Jump. Oh, nope, that didn't work. Well, this sucks. So this is my uh, this is my new home. That's where I sleep. That's where I uh, sit down, I guess. That's where I go to poop. Okay, <laughs> magic. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any suggestions for a scenario, I would love to hear it. There are limitations, of course, but, I mean, I'll try and figure something out. I just want to hear your suggestions. If you have a uh, suggestion for, I don't know, maybe an episode of Civ, something we can do as a cop, maybe? I don't know, anything you'd just like to see improved or whatever. Make sure you uh, put in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you hit that like button three times, it turns blue. Seriously.